Hi everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video I'm going to be looking at one of my first mechanical prints, how the mechanism works and how it's going to solve your mystery of the missing TV remote. Let's have a look. I don't know about you, but I'm often sat on the sofa trying to figure out where the TV remote is. Is it hiding under a cushion or under the sofa itself? I decided to design something to make this a little easier. Now I could obviously just always leave the remote on the coffee table, and that seems a bit too easy. I could design something to fit over the sofa arm that it just slots into, but that feels a bit under-engineered. I wanted to go one step further, and this is what I came up with. I liked the idea of having a simple push-click mechanism, like with a pen like this. But I wanted something that was going to be a bit bigger and a bit different. I had a look online and tried to find out ways that this could work. I had some inspiration and this is what I've come up with. <laughs> Okay, so with everything 3D printed, it's time to build it. But there's one magical ingredient which makes this all work, and that is a spring, or to be precise, two springs. The mechanism works by using a pin in this track. The track's design means that when it's pushed along, it can only ever go in one direction. It's pushed into different sides and then is forced to go around the track clockwise. Let's build it, and then we can look closer at how the mechanism works. If we pop the track in, and then slot both the springs on this end piece which will provide the tension on the mechanism. That can then go slotting into the end of the part. Then using an M3 nut and bolt on each side, attach the main body to the base with the springs on it. That will connect it nice and securely. And finally connect the pin with an M3 bolt. With the mechanism complete it's time to watch it in action. You can see it's locked in place there, pushing it again it's forced to go around clockwise. The pin is always following this track, and with the springs pulling it back on release, it can only go in one direction. Okay, so with it built, this is how it looks. Uh, you've got in there the springs, you've got the pin, you've got the track which the pin follows. That's what makes the mechanism actually work. So let's get downstairs, get this fist to the table and see how it works with the control. I already had an idea of where I wanted to use it, so I just used six M4 screws and bolted it into the wood. Once it was fitted, this is how it looked. Well, I'd say that's a suitably over-engineered shelf, and now I'm ready to watch TV. I shared a comparison video like this a few weeks ago, and people seem to really like it, so I thought it would be a good example of how the mechanism works. Okay, so I hope you guys have found this interesting. Do let me know if you come up with your own version of this design, I'd love to see what you've come up with. Otherwise, I've now got a home for my remote, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.